rock the jungles of Zulquia as our heroes battle for the fate of Mount Zayamara. Can they defeat the cult of Ralzamon and persuade the volcano to go to hell back to sleep? Or will it destroy the sunken circle of Tlaikolo and unleash an evil unlike the, the likes of which the world has never heard? We're back. Hi. Uh, when last we left our heroes, John fired at a poorly placed fuel barrel which exploded and then caused another fuel barrel to explode. And these two, ignore them, they're dead. It just, there was a huge fireball, bodies flew in all directions. There were Wilhelm screams left and right. Just imagine like an 80s movie where some, there's an explosion and somebody goes flying completely through the air, right? <laughs> it's, it's a mass casualty event. The two cult fanatics at the heart of the event survive and the only person who I didn't roll for while we were out was the cult leader himself who is overseeing the ceremony oh he gets a plus three on his initiative I didn't see that cool Boink. that's gonna pop him up anything else I need to know nope okay so he's gonna roll his dexterity saving throw against the giant fiery fireball which he succeeds, and a wisdom saving throw against the fear aura, which he also Ooh. succeeds. So he takes half damage from that as the fire rips across the mountain, hurling, let's just say these four guys get hurled into the volcano, right? That's how that goes. Yeah. That's just how that goes. Off you go. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. All right. When the explosion clears, there's corpses everywhere. The jungle is bursting into flame. Uh, which I have, actually. I should be able to throw that on there. But at the same time, Caster, the undead gunslinger, airdropped onto the battlefield. And because dynamic entry was played, he gets to act and attack immediately. Hey, mate, just a quick question. Yes. Did only three cultists fail their save out of all these cultists? I, I didn't have time to roll every single one of them. I'm just oh, gonna roll, okay. whenever they're like active and doing something, I'm just gonna roll their save. Just I was just making sure. I was like, that <laughs> seems unlikely. Again, the really cultists worried. do have advantage against uh, fear effects. Yeah. Totally, but totally, you know, totally. Caster, the undead gunslinger, mummified, wearing. I think he should have a, a cool hat. He has a cool hat, and he has a magic gun of his own. Yeah. And. He fires. Hmm. hmm. What should he fire? I'm in cover in these bushes, right? Yeah, you are. But he's a he's a gunslinger too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No. Totally. Totally. Oh, I know what he's gonna shoot. He imbues the bullet with necromantic energy points directly where John Carmichael just landed and then adjusts the shot just ever so slightly to shoot the freaking barrel of fuel that is hiding in these trees. As he fires his gun. Which also has cover. Yeah, but he rolled a 15 oh. to hit it. So he hit it. <laughs> he, let's see. And he did not use his life drain on the nearby terrain, so he just shoots the barrel, which explodes. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this back real quick. Send this to the back. I have to orient it so it originates from one of these four points. That one seems most logical, yep. Okay, he shoots the fuel barrel, which explodes. Hey man, I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Go on. We both have a question. Uh, ladies first, Jesse, you go ahead and ask yours. Why are there guys in the lava? Oh, they got thrown by the explosion. They're boiling down there. Oh, okay, I'm sure you said that. I just wasn't That's fine. No, totally fine. It's a legitimate question. Why are people bathing in the <laughs> lava is a legitimate question. Matt, what's your question? Well, so why, while I don't mind, uh, I don't worry about fire uh, is the thing. Mm -hmm. But I have allies who may not take kindly to that. Would I be able to use my shield and project the shield in front of the barrel? Using your gadget? Uh-huh. Yeah, you could use your gadget to do that. Okay, cool. John's going to use his reaction in order to uh, <laughs> give a plus five armor class to the barrel, which <laughs> should be in some pretty impressive cover, uh, which... I'm hoping prevents it from being uh, I shot. only got a 16 on the roll. So yeah, you <laughs> use your met the force field gadget 
to protect the freaking barrel, stopping it from exploding, which would have damaged the car and hit Chester Morton and Ian Fletcher. Nice save. You also ruined the really cool move that I had planned, but that's fine. That's completely fine. All right. That was dynamic. John looks over as soon as uh, Caster lands and mm-hmm. shoots the shot. John holds out his arm, throwing the shield uh, that was protecting his own form around the barrel, which is going to hover and hum with this energy until John's turn. Uh, and John looks over towards Caster and I don't. I, can he hear me from here? 40 feet. 40 feet. Are you being yeah. loud? <laughs> <laughs> he's looking he's over here so him? john john looks caster in the eye and remembering the promise that caster had uh that john had made to caster on their last interaction when john mm-hmm. killed caster it didn't for take. the um i don't know how it did go yeah it didn't of course it didn't take it never takes with undead creatures but uh he kind of just gives him like a solid uh, a solemn nod remembering the his promise ghastly shrunken cheeks and bandaged visage with two pinpoints of ghostly light staring back at you, gives you a similar nod. Completely understanding, and still trying to kill you. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, it is now time for the cult fanatics to make their move. The lieutenants of Rausamon's cult. Modern oxen fear books. This one right here is going to roll a wisdom saving throw against the aura of fear with advantage because fanatic. He is afraid. Which is why he's not going to cast the spell he wanted to cast. Instead, he's going to cast Hold Person on Ian Fletcher. Ooh. Level two. Uh, Save DC is terrible. It's awful. Yeah. Does he have any specials that matter here? I don't think so. All right, he's gonna roll a. What kind of save is it? Wisdom. He's gonna roll wisdom saving throw, which he succeeds on because the DC is oh eleven. My God. <laughs> All right, that's this <sighs> guy. Now we come over to this guy right here who sees an unholy abomination which must be destroyed. And he's gonna roll his wisdom saving throw with advantage. Could Uh, you clarify which unholy abomination (laughs) you're talking about? Uh, you receive a response in your head. Get out, shit, B-Box, Malak! (laughs) You know, I don't understand that, but I think it's me. And he That's probably a good indication. He is actually going to turn his gun on Castor. Oh, maybe not me. And he has automatic. Oh my god! It's an undead thing. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're not friends. Mm-mm. They are not. Just some crazy mummy jumped out of the sky and tried <laughs> shooting their people. Airdropped to kill, trying to kill you, but willing to go through them. All right. Well, they have so, no idea. They just saw it shoot at a barrel. He's going to fire his Tommy gun on oh, burst no, fire Tommy mode. Gun. That is a definite hit at a 21. Is and that with disadvantage because I'm within sight, by the way? Uh, it's with advantage because he used burst fire, so it ended up being a flat roll. Understandable. Have a nice day. All right. By every five points by which it exceeds the AC, an additional attack hits, so that does, in fact... Uh, overkill so he hits him with multiple bullets wow because automatic weapons are actually are good actually dude i love the guns in northport they're scary so he deals that's second one is i'm just rolling for the damage so he deals 15 points of damage to castor is any of it resisted does it seem like his undead flesh oh wow cool very good to know Caster's whole thing is that he comes back, but he doesn't have a whole lot of resistances, unfortunately. I'm here for it. Totally here for it. Okay. Uh, That is it for our boy. So I think I have these two up here who just got fireballed to hell. And this guy made his save. I already rolled it. All right, John, he's going to cast hold per... No, he's going to cast spiritual weapon. Ooh. 
as I think a bonus action. He summons yeah. it and it's gonna try to hit you for at a 19 to hit. Does that hit? A 19? Uh, I'm in cover. Is it in, is it past the cover? It's plus two to your armor class for the cover. It does not hit. Okay. All right. The spell misses you. Chaotic Conjuration, Spiritual Weapon, where are you? Conjure Blade, bam, there we are. Uh, that's his bonus action. And as his action, he's going to... Uh, can he shoot at you from here? I don't think he can shoot. Hey, mate, what kind of weapon is the spiritual weapon, by the way? Um, It's a sickle. A sickle. It just barely missed. So as the sickle comes down, John puts his shield up in the way, realizing it was deactivated during this time. And the sickle literally catches right in the 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 like the, the bracer where the actual force field comes out of. Just the edge of the sickle catches in the right spot where it doesn't just destroy his item, but he's able to prevent the damage from coming in on him. And because that's a bonus action, uh, his compatriot is also going to cast Spiritual Weapon with disadvantage because he's scared. He's scared. Nope, not whole person, Spiritual Weapon. So he summons another sickle on the other side of you. It cannot have flanking, unfortunately. For a 13, which misses, but you've just got these two sickles trying to cut the crap out of you. Then they both walk down here and take their Tommy guns and just... Unload on you. The first guy attacks with advantage because nice. he's using uh, burst fire, but you have plus two to your armor class. Yep, yep. <laughs> Does a 24 hit? Uh, yeah, natural 20, that'll, that'll certainly hit. Does it exceed your armor class by five? No, it, it wouldn't. It does not. Cool. Does Enjoy not 14 points of damage. Well, that's my temporary hit points gone. And the other guy is going to fire with normal because he's afraid. Does a 21 hit? In cover. It does. Okay, you take two more points of damage. And the two up here are focused on the ritual, appeasing the volcano, so they don't take any other actions. I'm going to put a, uh, I don't know, some kind of an icon on them. I'll figure something out. Oh, we'll put these angel wings on them to show that they are in the middle of ominous chanting. Asena, I'm bumping you up the initiative order. It's your turn. There are targets everywhere, an evil ritual going on, and an undead gunslinger. What do you want to do? I want to punch people. Not a bad plan. Who's getting a beatdown? Um, I think Ian Fletcher got beatdowns gone, right? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> I I'm gonna I'm gonna climb up here. Cool. You jump in. There's a, a an explosive fuel barrel right here. Okay. Don't <gasps> explode the dinghy. What? Why are you gasping? I, I, I was just thinking, a saint is a powerhouse, and there's a barrel. And I was thinking you could just Donkey Kong that right into a bunch of cultists. I mean, I could, but it's going to explode on us. Well, yeah, but not if you don't throw it over here, where all these squishy cultists are just begging to be Donkey Kong. <gasps> and look, there's another barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what is this? What has happened to them? Uh... It's just the symbol. Shit, shit's on fire, yo. <laughs> blue fire? What? What blue fire? Is it blue on your screen? Oh, these are the, the spiritual weapons that are trying to attack John. They're using their, <laughs> okay. their the power of Ralzamon like, to attack John with this? floating, glowing weapons. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this guy right next to me. Cool. He turns to face you. And, uh, uh, yeah, he made a save. Go ahead. Begin the assault. Two punches <laughs> to the face. Uh, one punch to the face, actually, because ah! you drop him instantly. What? <laughs> yeah, Boom. you punch him. You did 18 <laughs> points of damage. That is enough <laughs> damage for you to overkill one of his friends if you move. <laughs> With the first attack, if you want to go ahead and just, like, move five feet. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, because these guys are, are, are mooks and you dealt double his damage, so... <laughs> ah! Amazing. Booyah. You drop this guy with a single attack. Your second attack, you can vault over the explosive barrel and hit the other guy. You won't get your uh, sneak attack on this second strike. Yeah. But you still get... 10 points of damage. And two points of force damage, so... 
Ooh. He's nice. completely annihilated. <laughs> Asena walks up and casually just with one <laughs> swing kick drops two of them and then walks over and punches the other one into the ground. Hey, cultist, look I at this cool Asena bug so I found. <laughs> <laughs> that was your first two attacks. You still have movement left over and a bonus action. What would you I'm like to do? I'm gonna shrug it, John. Like, <laughs> holy you, crap! What, that was amazing. Hey, there's guys with guns with? over there. <laughs> what? I, I, look over there! I blew up all those people. Uh huh. <laughs> and I stopped the car from. Get I'm doing fine here. Just go kill. Go like do you your help. thing. <laughs> and at that exact moment. Slakura passes through the gateway between dimensions. What? To aid you once again because of a stream oh loots gosh. card. No. That's awesome. Yep. Summoned Hi, by friends. bloodshed, the bouncing happy slime appears once more. Oh my gosh. This is a really this is this is a real one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Slakura. I, you know, I thought it was gonna be more difficult to uh to get between the bloom in here, but you seem to have found some easily accessible rift. We need to look into that, my friend. And then nuzzes up against Asena. And, um, battlefield <laughs> damaged, cover destroyed. Oh, gosh. All right. So the bolt, the spray of bullets from all of these dudes oh. right here has cut down the tree that you were using for cover. The well, barrel it was still shielded, so like the bullets bounced off of it, but your cover is completely gone. Well, hot damn. What else do you want to do, Asana? You still got movement and a bonus action if you feel like doing more punching. I'm going to tell Slakura if somebody tries to get in my brain, just jump on my head. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work, but we could try. Maybe we could try. Uh, Asena, can you get that barrel away from us, please? The oh car is still gosh, the on barrel. the way. I, yeah, it's just right. It's just right there. And there's a <laughs> lot of guns. I'll pick up the barrel. Okay. You are holding the barrel. You can throw the barrel as a bonus action if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to throw it here. Okay. Here. Roll an athletics check to yeet the barrel. A 10. That's not great. But that is the difficulty class of hitting an empty spot. Now roll your unarmed <laughs> damage. Roll an unarmed strike, and we're just going to use that for how much damage you inflict on the barrel. Okay. The barrel lands and takes six points of damage. And it is now on fire. Hmm. It will automatically take damage until it explodes. <laughs> it's doing that mm -hmm. thing. Yep, exactly. Well, uh, that was your bonus action. You still have movement. Is there anything else you want to do, Asena? Um. You've also been given inspiration by chat. Oh, nice. Thanks, guys. I think I'm gonna run down here. Oops. Get okay. these guys. Over here to these this group of people who are in the middle of trying to attack your friends. Actually, I'm gonna go right here. Right on. I already used my bonus action. So you only have 45 feet of movement, right? Yeah. All right, so you can only go this far. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> eh. Eh. Where do you want to be? Want to be over there. Too bad. <laughs> Unless you want to spend that inspiration. I want to be room. right next to them. I wanna... Ooh. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I can spend, I can spend a focus point. Oh, no, that's as a bonus action. Yeah, you've already used your bonus action. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have cool stuff. We have cool stuff. What does that say? What does that say? We're in our backstage. We got flashback, one clean shot. It's time to duel. Oh, my God. I want to duel caster, mate. 
Do it. Yeah, it's time. John, John looks over, and when they did their whole, like, sharing eye thing, they narrow in, and John and Caster both unleash their epic level powers as the spell gun rivals face off once more. <laughs> okay, it's time to do the du 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 duel. So when this card is activated, if two rivals in the scene face each other one-on-one, -on -one, they both unlock their true potential. All right, Caster shrugs off the gun that just hit him and walks slowly, pushing the two cultists aside as he moves over to face John. Oh my God. And the Can we land... just the map they say John does the same thing? He like pushes past the, <laughs> the sickles that are attacking him <laughs> and just stands staring at Caster. Let's absolutely go. Let's absolutely go. Okay. So oh, we're gonna have a duel. As he walks forward. Wait, two... it already says John Carmichael dueled him in the Zolquian jungle. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's oh, we've been fighting for a, for a long time. <laughs> As he walks forward, the trees around him wither. The grass shrivels and rots, releasing malodorous stench. He drains the very life from the world around him, drinking in the power, corrupting it with his undead presence, and it coalesces flowing around him into his gun. Ooh. And he is going to... What's this? Oh my god. Oh my god, absolutely. Okay. The power wraps around him, and then his own blood leaks from the bandages. Putrid, rotten, undead ichor. He takes 2d6 points of damage. Drains the life. Okay, that was awful. Please, please forgive me. That was a bad, bad. <laughs> okay, he takes five points of irreducible damage as he charges a spell shot and aims it directly at John. And where did his, nice. where did his character she go? So he's going to use his uh, draining ability and he's going to use his spell shot to hit you with an exsanguination bullet. Ooh, nice. And he makes this attack with advantage, except the chat gave him disadvantage, so a flat roll. Bang. Does a 17 hit? No dice. John's ready and waiting. He has his mm -hmm. arms. He had sheathed Krontaka back into its uh into its holster and was just standing there at the ready. And as soon as the gunshot goes off, can I do something real quick if that's okay with you? Since uh, they're facing each other off. In a duel, what do you have in mind? So I'd like to spend a point since I used my uh, reaction, I'd like to spend a point of inspiration to get it back. Okay. Done. And I want to know if it's okay since we're facing each other off in this duel. Mm -hmm. If John can pull a Han shot first, and as soon as Caster moves to shoot, <laughs> John quick draws and shoots right before he does, kind of messing it. with his shot. Go for it. Perfect. I'm yeah. dropping the inspiration. And make the attack. And as part of this, John's going to pop Krontaka's uh, Island's Bane, War Spasm. Okay. Okay. And John's going to go ahead and make an attack roll against Caster right as he's about to shoot him. Send it. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Yep, here we go. Boom. Oh, does a 19 hit? A 19. Wait, before you say, John's going to use a deduction dice in order to add okay. to this. All right. Does a 21 hit? A 21 does hit. Okay, perfect. And now what do I have to do? Do I have to roll save? Make a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay, he's good at those. I am counting on it. Also, I, I unlocked my hidden potential. What is my hidden potential unlocked? Oh, nonsense like what you're doing right now with this extra gunshot. Oh, okay, cool. Well, there we go. Uh, so yeah, he doesn't take the extra psychic damage. Mm -hmm. But he does take this uh, 26 or 15 points of piercing damage. Okay. And... He is not a fey or a... Correct, he's fiend, an undead. Right? He's an undead yeah, okay. spellcaster. Yep, 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 that tracks, that tracks, that okay. tracks. I All right. believe that should be... Yeah, that should And be because it. he just unlocked his hidden potential in this duel, uh, I'm going to use a special duel action for him to throw this cultist in front of him. The cultist gets blown away. Ooh. The remaining damage does go onto him, but he makes the cultist soak it first. <laughs> Nice. And they drop lifeless to the ground. All right. It is Ian Fletcher's turn. 
He has this huge, unfamiliar gun in his hand. He, has, he, he looks at it. He's got his uh, trusty pistol at his side, and then he's got this big-ass gun. It replaces what he normally uses as his sniper rifle. He takes this high-tech piece of equipment, levels it at this dude over here, and hey, I'm going to fire. Real Go quick. ahead. Since, I, since, I, since I'm using my hidden potential and I use my reaction to do warp spasm, can I make a second shot with disadvantage? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm going to shoot that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and almost as if he right. was trying to distract Caster with the a first shot, he makes a quick, he turns and makes a quick shot at the barrel. Okay, roll it. Meanwhile, I'm going to roll this sniper attack. Oh, and because I have advantage because of warp spasm, that'll just be normal. And... Get rid of Island's Bane. I'm pretty sure that barrel's immune to psychic damage, but let's just see. It is immune to psychic damage. Cool. Well, 20 piercing damage it shouldn't be immune to. No, 20 piercing damage it is not immune to. The barrel that Asena yeeted explodes. Yeah. Ooh, there's my explosions. I got rid of this too soon. Those explosions look awesome, by the way. I didn't. We don't get to see the cool flowy thing like chat does, and that's amazing. Cool. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to send this to the back, and the barrel explode. Explode. Four. Oh, not enough. Damn, uh, screw it. They're cultists. Nobody cares. It blows up all the mooks in the area, which is all the mooks in the area. Nice. More bodies go flying into the jungle doing pirouettes and somersaults and shrieking in agony as the jungle is lit more on fire. And this entire group of mooks is destroyed. Caster is just outside the explosion radius, unfortunately. It's cool that way. The fire is just like flowing as both mm. John and... Caster stare at each other as this jungle starts burning. Exactly. Ex exactly. All right. Fire, gone. Barrel, gone. Ian Fletcher shot his, uh, he shot the gigantic sniper rifle, which he nods approvingly at. And does he have anything else? No, he doesn't. Uh, no, you know what? He can... Bolt action. So he's going to use his bonus action ch ch to reload and fire again because he has multi attack. And I'm going to keep attacking with Gaston's attack rolls. It's like he's still with us. <laughs> the second shot. Oh, it's a nine. It's a miss. He's still getting used to this thing. He's somewhat useful. And then at that exact moment, the cult leader bows his head and invokes the power. In and the ground shakes. Oh no. And a massive, enormous, glowing figure rises from the lava itself. Oh, what? <laughs> you fools! Here at the heart of my power, I will at last scourge this world. I see that all of the off-worlders have been gathered in one place. I will cleanse your of your presence with the fire of the ancients. As promised, Ralzamon has entered the battlefield. The party nice. has also been granted the benefits of the Believe in Me card. Ooh. The Believe in Me card allows one of you to uh, give an inspiring speech to the other enabling whoever is the recipient of the speech to go beyond the impossible. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. All right. Beyond the impossible. Beyond the impossible. I don't have any other rules written. It just says beyond the impossible. So, you know, come up with a heroic Wait, speech. Wait, beyond the impossible? Even further beyond, yeah. Like, oh my you know, goodness. Reason, within reasonable limits of beyond the impossible. I'm sorry, within reasonable <laughs> limits of beyond impossible? That yeah, sounds absolutely. like a, yeah. an oxymoron. Okay. And at that moment, uh, Asena, he is going to use Mind Crush on you. I said, thank you. Can, can Slakura jump on yeah. my head? 
That's right. He ready to an action. That's right. No, that, that's completely. That was that was called. Okay, here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna roll a second attack and take the damage from the first. So disadvantage on this, basically. Yeah. Sakura jumps on your head, and nope, it's still Ooh. a hit. You still take 19 points of psychic damage. Okay. Ow. That drops off of your temporary hit points first. Remember. And I have 14 of those. And now that yeah. Ralzamon is activated, he can use his legendary actions. Ooh, nice. And the cult leader, satisfied with his work, ends his incantations and turns to face the lot of you, invoking the power of the mighty one whose psychic presence looms behind him. The cult leader is going to cast Flame Strike. Uh, on the car. Oh, no. As he raises his arms, lava rises in a column from the volcano, channeled through Ralzamon himself, and the giant specter of Ralzamon brings his hand down, causing the fiery energy of the earth to turn and land directly on the vehicle. Uh, which explodes. Uh... Mate, are you going to kill my cat? Uh, roll a dexterity save for your cat. What? Remember, Chester comes back if he's killed, remember. You can, you can summon um, him. He's not a familiar anymore. No, he does not come he back if he's killed. He's come gone. Back. Then roll a dexterity saving throw. You, uh, you, you got anything for that? Do I do I have anything for a flame strike that even if he survives he's gonna get just splurge because all he has is your lucky die already. Look, he's gonna take half damage if he survives, which means that he's gonna have the temporary hit points, which means that he's gonna make it. I'm looking. I'm looking. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use a lucky die because I don't want Chester to die. So, and I'm gonna pull some some bull crap if it turns out that uh, that. This doesn't work out. I have a I have a secret idea because I'm not letting you kill this cat. All right, Chester, let's try this again. That's much better. Okay. okay. Cool. Take, uh, instead of taking 25 points of damage, take 12 points of damage. Ouch. And Ian Fletcher dives and rolls away from the vehicle as it explodes, saving himself. He only takes 12 points of damage. Lawrence Booker Green is also in the car when it gets hit by an enormous pillar of fire from the very heavens themselves. He rolls a dexterity saving throw, which he's not great at. And it fails. It eats all of his temporary hit points. And 11 of his normal hit points. I kind of feel like the more we travel with him, the more I'm shocked that I was ever so worried about his efficiency as a villain. <laughs> Ooh, Lawrence? Yeah, Lawrence. All right, so the, the vehicle is wrecked. Chester is, is alive just barely as the cult leader calls down the power of the volcano itself, channeling it into all of you. And... Does he have any bonus actions? He does not have any bonus actions. So that'll be a level five spell slot. And then he ushers a command to the rest of his party. Get out, shit, B-Box, Malak! And at that exact moment, y'all know what time it is? Behold, oh my oh. goodness. Hello. Hello. Says, ooh, no pushover. Aren't these guys normally a, full, a piece of cake? All enemies have increased HP. Oh my goodness. Who oh, did that? Just, that was a random act time. of God. Nobody played that card. That was a random act of God. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, random, that is it for the say. cult leader. Let's see. So I'm just going to give everyone a big old pile of temporary hit points. That'll be the easiest thing to do. It is now time for the rank and file cultists. All right, these two here. are got some saves to make, right? Oh yeah, 100%. The good news is you've reduced the population significantly. Yes. That one's not afraid. That one is afraid. So, wielding shotguns. Get a 
The cultist runs. Oh, he's within 10 feet, so he's just going to fire his shotgun. And at point blank range, a shotgun deals, uh, gets advantage to attack because it's a scatter Ooh. weapon. Oh. Where's it? Where, where the, there it is. Blam! He fires at Ian Fletcher. A 21. And, um. Thank goodness, only rolled one point of damage. Yeah, he deals double damage within 10 feet. So I'm gonna roll again. He ends up inflicting six points of damage on Ian Fletcher. Okay. And this cultist here has disadvantage, but is going to walk directly up to Asena and fire he can't shotgun. Move closer. It can't move closer to a source of fear. Oh, that's right. He can't. All right then. He is going to just fire ah. his shotgun at uh, normal range at Ian Fletcher with disadvantage. Nice. Yep, absolutely a miss. Are there any other survivors? Oh, we got a few survivors here and there. Yeah, they're lingering. All right. This cultist is going to run down here and toss a stick of di light, a stick of dynamite. After his savings throw, right? The dynamite. Oh, oh no. Shit. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> the dynamite. <laughs> and Lawrence has nothing to stop anything with? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't know what that song is. Uh, it means we're F. That's what that song is. There's means. a lot of dynamite in that car, right? Dude, there's half a ton of dynamite in that car. No, there's a quarter ton of dynamite in that car. <sighs> okay. Okay. Mate. If you'll allow it. Let's, uh, let's... I'm going to take this terrible thing and I'm going to turn it into a very good thing. Okay, go for it. Because I've unlocked my hidden potential because my rival and I are facing off against each other. Mm -hmm. So let me know what I have to do in order to make this happen. I'll hear you out. John has many spell tattoos that he's been holding on to and has been slowly but surely whittling his way through as the last of his sorcerer magic, or rather wizard magic, uh, you know, goes away. John is very well known uh, in his heyday for modifying spells in order to give them a new lease on life able to change the core intricacies of what makes them work. Uh, what I'm getting at here is that John has a spell on his right leg called Dimension Door. John, in the instant that the flame strike is coming down, John is going to reach out, lift up his pant leg, and rip away, just grabbing at the tattoo, ripping it away from himself, and as he casts the final incantations, releasing the spell that he had cast many years ago throws the dimension door, and as he does, he twists his hands in the air, ripping and tearing and reforming the spell, modifying it to being more so akin to, and I forget what the spell is called, but there's a spell that they recently released in 5th edition, where you're able to uh, move a creature or object uh, mm -hmm. with, a, with a teleport. So what John is trying to do is in the moment that the car is exploding, as everyone's jumping out of the car, he wants to teleport the car away from his allies. Preferably, Towards a group of enemies. Okay. Uh, I want two inspiration for this. I would charge you three, yeah. but you've unlocked your inner potential. Perfect. Easy. There and you where are you, where are you trying to send this? Uh, John wants to deposit this car back to sender. <laughs> 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 right next to Ralzamon and the two. Okay. You, you, you Roll an Arcana check, please. I'm going to summon. Does, now, does, do I get any modifiers since I've unlocked my potential, or is just getting to do this? This getting, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Cool. You don't, I'm not giving you disadvantage. Hey, I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it. just gave you inspiration okay, so. if you want to spend it. I'm, I'm pretty Beautiful. sure. I haven't even, look, I haven't even looked Thank at the card, you. but I'm pretty sure that's for you. So, first of all, I got a dirty 20. John for car magic. Yep. And car magic. If I, if I like failed John this, I have magic. a talisman. Does, does a 20 fail, mate? Uh, no, a 20 does not fail. Then there we go. God, I, I wish I had a, a car with a quarter ton of TNT across the map. I don't have a big enough boom sound effect on my soundboard for this. 
Just try. Roll 20d6. Oh, my. Yes, sir. <laughs> 66. Not that great, but better than us taking it. All right. Honestly, it should do more damage than that. But I was gonna say a quarter ton of TNT. They to, used deal, to, to deal to deal with the stuff. fact that uh, it's a quarter ton of TNT, I'm just not gonna give anyone a saving throw. That that tracks. All right. There is a tremendous earth shattering kaboom that flattens trees in all directions. It displaces the lava. It knocks people on their asses as the explosion goes off, instantaneously powderizing the two cult fanatics who were part of the ritual with no saving throw, blasting to shreds these two cultists on the side, just rupturing their eardrums and, and exploding their, yeah, they just, they, they, they turn into goo. Absolutely gooifying them. The cult leader, no, I'm gonna give him to you too. Because he was, as he channels the power, he's like, yes, ha, 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 ha. And then he turns around and sees the car teleport behind him. And then all you see is a rush of red robes flying through the air on fire, just hurtling into nothingness. Oh, my God. As the cult leader is instant instantaneously destroyed. The mighty visage of Ralzaman, master of the unknown, takes the damage to the face. But he's projected his consciousness many, many times, and you know that he's still good for it. Uh, and you know what? Let's kill these two dudes here, too. Yeah, they're, they're dead. Just for good measure, you know? Mm -hmm. a, a quarter ton of TNT just went off. Uh, and you know what else we're going to do? We're going to blow up this whole shrine, okay? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, this that, whole that, shrine that. slides into... I'm going to get a piece of lava out, and I'm just going to throw that over that, because, yeah, that shrine is gone. It, pieces of the rock go flying with the cult leader as a quarter ton of TNT goes off. There's a plume of lava that gets shot into the air, an absolutely deafening, crushing sound. The ground beneath you trembles once again. It probably shouldn't scientifically be able to make the eruption worse, but somehow this is going to make the eruption worse because <laughs> you. Hey, man. F you for dropping it, or f you for dropping a... Uh Big old oh hi there i'm i'm sorry for strike. making the monsters smart i'm sorry for making them target the biggest group that they saw it's true it's true wow this looks fun this looks real fun lava lava everywhere all right so that's all done do i have any cultists left after this yeah, I've got a uh, few. There's a few. All right, this guy walks up. Uh, he has a stick of dynamite that he lights and he runs towards you. Then there's a huge explosion and it whiffs out the wick of dynamite that he had. So he looks at it, lights it again and throws it into the middle of the pile. As he hurls the dynamite, he has to make an attack. Did he make his saving throw? Did he make his saving yes, throw? Yes, this guy made his it? saving throw back at the beginning of okay. all, this, all this nonsense. Okay, uh, cool, cool, cool. Where cool. is his character sheet? I have a lot going on right now. Yeah. There he is. All right. So he runs up and hurls the dynamite. That, uh, he shouldn't have had disadvantage, but the five does stick. And because he's a mook, uh, he throws the dynamite, it falls at his feet and he explodes. <laughs> there we go. There's I think I saw that in Indiana Jones. <laughs> All right. The cultist in the bushes over here is going to roll a saving throw against the fear effect. Which he succeeds, so he is going to rush towards Asena. Modern arts and fear books. With his shotgun, and he fires at Asena at point-blank range. Which gives him advantage on the attack as he fires the double-barrel shotgun. A 21. What's your armor class, Asena? Seventeen. Seventeen? Okay. He only and one hits. XP. 
plus one XP. Uh, he doesn't score an overkill hit on you, so it's just seven points of damage. Do you want to spend a focus point and a reaction to catch the bullet? Actually, yeah. you can just spend a reaction to catch the bullet. You don't need to use a focus point unless you want to return to sender. Both. <laughs> okay. Roll your catch bullet on your character sheet. As he shoots buckshot at you and you hold out your hands, grab all the buckshot and just throw it back in his face and with predictable results. And there was another cultist hiding over here in the shadows. Boom. I'm gonna roll a wisdom saving throw for him. And if he succeeds, he has a glorious, uh, he does not succeed. He does not have glorious purpose. He's going to hey, hide. Mate. Yes. Can I just share something kind of funny with you? Go for it. So I was just looking up, you know, again, I know this is a 1930s world and not, you know, mm -hmm. real world. But did you want to know what the lethal blast radius of a quarter ton of TNT is? What's the lethal bra <laughs> blast radius of a quarter ton of TNT? Uh, so that'd be to the tune of 30 meters or 90 feet is the lethal blast radius of uh, a quarter ton of TNT with serious injury at a range of over 500. No, sorry, 250 meters. Stop! Great, everybody roll a mean? reflex saving throw, please. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. A small everybody roll bomb a reflex is going saving off. throw. Everyone roll a re reflex. You roll a reflex saving throw. You roll a reflex saving throw. What? What is that? Uh, a dexterity. Why do I? Why is termination oh. in my brain recently? <laughs> so, I don't mate, know I, why. I would. I would like to make just. I would like to make one slight adjustment if it if it means anything. Can I just have, as part of John teleporting this, since he has 400 feet of range to do it, if you're allowing me to use Dimension Door properly, can I have him roll an intelligence check to see if John would have any idea how big this blast was so he wouldn't just put it right on top of the party again? Uh, no, I'm just going to say that you okay. uh, aren't in the lethal range. Okay, gotcha. That, we I'm just literally gonna, aren't. Yeah, you're, you're within the 200 foot uh, serious injury range. You're not within the yeah. foot lethal range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone else is. And also, uh, mate, one last thing. Can my cat just be hiding, like, I don't know, in this hole here? <laughs> yes, you can be hiding in the hole, Matt. <laughs> what else do you want? Would you like an aperitif when dinner's over? Yeah, actually, I would, if you don't mind. I'm a big fan of tiramisu. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, you, Ooh, you brought gosh. the dynamite for a reason, obviously. I Yeah, we brought the dynamite for a reason. Okay. I'm really glad the other quarter ton is in John's backpack and not, you know, in this dimension. <laughs> Uh, Asuna, oh, you take no God. damage. John, roll 10 d six, please. John is gonna take... Wait, this is an ability check. <gasps> this is an ability check. No, it's a saving throw, it's different. Sorry, it's a saving throw, but I can use deduction dice on saving throws. Yes, you can use deduction dice on saving throws. <laughs> so, I'm gonna use my last deduction dice. And uh, that'll be a total of four, so 12. Yeah, you're taking the full damage. <laughs> and I'm going to use my lucky die. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be 24. All right, you know what? That's fine, that's fine, because you're not getting a rest before the next thing happens. True. All right, uh, Asena, you take no damage, uh, mm -hmm. except that you're within 20 feet of this barrel, which explodes. So please roll another oh, no. dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, no. A natural 20. I, I like to think that there's this wow. explosion. If you've ever seen footage of nuclear tests where like the, the trees just flatten, the house splatters. All, it's like Gaston's here. All these ancient artifacts and shrines are completely destroyed. Gone. Just, just gone. Lines. And it's just ash and fire, this huge explosion. And when it's done, a sailor's just standing there, not a hair out of place. How she dodged, <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> nobody understands. The people on the internet. That oh. was so unrealistic. I feel like Asena just temporarily slipped into the astral just for a moment. Just, just shifted. Phased out of reality. And Chester the cat was like, hey, can I come with you for just a moment, please? <laughs> Dude, can I, can, I, can I, you know, uh, 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 yeah. Oh, you know what we'll say? Because John also has evasion, so he takes no damage, by the way. Jester runs up and no, you jumps. You take half John damage, wraps... Matt. You failed to save. No, you made the save. <laughs> I, I rolled a 24. 
Yeah, I feel 24. How dare you? Uh, yep. Chester jumps into John's coat and John wraps his coat around and just goes to ground, just jumps down in the little hole and just presses up against it like Indiana Jones does in the fridge and somehow mm -hmm. survives a nuclear Yeah, we, we just nuked. We absolutely just nuked the fridge. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to roll dexterity saving throw for Chester Morton, who succeeds and has evasion and survives by ducking against this little, like, Dude. shelf right yes. here. Yes. Yes, we all I'm gonna do roll that. We all go to for ground. Ian Fletcher. We all go to ground and just. Oh, Ian, I'm so sorry. Wait. Oh no, Ian has one too. <gasps> Ian, you can survive, buddy. Oh no. What does Ian have? A uh, natural one. That's natural one. <laughs> Ian. Ian can die. <laughs> die. <laughs> well, tell you what, because Ian Fletcher is definitely not Indiana Jones, and because uh -huh, Chat uh -huh. just gave us a uh, treasure. And because that treasure is a fridge, we're going to give Ian... <gasps> no! Here's what happens. Ian hops in the fridge and gets blasted out of the scene. Oh, no. Which is just what happened in the movie, right? So he gets blown oh my clear God. by... by <laughs> I don't know if he literally hops into a fridge. He hops into something and gets blasted clear. So... Mate, can we say, can we say that when the car explodes, the door just goes head over heel flying towards him it literally smacks into him and he holds on for dear life and, and just, just flies, flies on the on the yeah exactly the sound or the he sound wave just like a chunk him. of the obelisk or something yeah yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. he just goes flying oh. out of here that treasure will save him from the damage but it will also remove him from the scene i think that seems fair yeah understandable I'm all right totally lawrence cool blow that. yourself up green <laughs> goodbye lawrence and take gaston's item with you <laughs> Hey, mate, uh, Caster's next to this old barrel of TNT, right? Yeah, we'll get to Caster in a moment. Don't worry about it. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I love okay. it. Okay. Lawrence is going to voluntarily gain a point of corruption. Oh. To succeed on this saving throw. Ooh, he hello. The dark powers at his command. So he's going to take half damage. Chester takes no damage. Both, neither Chester takes any damage. Uh, yeah. And Caster, the undead gunslinger, was he in the critical blast zone? If it was right here, yes. Mm, I'd like to think he dropped it on Ralzamon's head. In which case, still yes. Okay. He was in the critical blast zone. All right, cool. So I'm going to roll a saving throw for Caster, the undead gunslinger. Eat him. Eat him. Oh! <gasps> All right. Uh, does he have anything he can use to his advantage? I'm, I'm he craves sure. death. I'm pretty sure he embraces the sweet, sweet release. <laughs> just opens his arms. I'm like, yes, of a quarter please. ton of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at John and goes, "I'll see you soon." All right. <laughs> just goes um, up in flame. Roll twenty d six. Uh. Pods, you want to roll 20 D6 points of fire damage? Oh, no, God. Pods, roll 30 D6, and then everyone outside the critical blast radius will, will take 15 D6. I have spoken. Oh, my God. Pods, roll 30 D6. Oh, my God. 109. Yeah, so much for your dramatic duel with Caster. This is, I mean, <laughs> you specifically said you wanted a half ton of dynamite, and the department gave you a half ton of dynamite, so you have a half ton of dynamite. <laughs> Just Thankfully, this is just a quarter ton, but yeah, you, you still we can do this again. A quarter Chad. Ton left. This out. <laughs> you can do this again. All right, uh, Matt, roll fifteen d six for the da the outer damage radius. Oh God! One, two, three. Four. The only person who's taking any of this damage is Lawrence, and he's taking half of it. Oh God! He okay. takes twenty five okay. points of damage. As you, that other roll had six. Seven, si Dude, seven I know. sixes. Dude. I know it was ridiculous. <laughs> a lot of fives, a lot of fives and fours and three. That's good. That was good. <sighs> okay, well, the massive wow. explosion wipes out the entire cult of Ralzamon, all gathered upon this mountain, <laughs> just completely blowing them to smithereens. You ever just bring a bigger bomb? <laughs> this is what happens when you play D and D in like a semi-modern setting. What I love is how we were like, yeah, well, 60 feet range. That sounds that sounds cool, right? And then I look it up like, uh, if we're anywhere near realistic, this is this is a bomb. This is a bomb. This is a bomb.
The only enemy who is arrayed before you is Ralzamon, Master of the Unknown. As all of you except Asena take cover and wither this absolutely crushing overpressure wave. <laughs> Lava splatters everywhere, volcanic ash. It was like you just triggered a volcanic eruption, just roaring into the skies, displacing lava and poisonous clouds. The entire battlefield is covered with sulfurous fumes. As we're hunkered up behind that little ridge, John's like keeping Chester protected in his coat and like he's like trying to cover his head. He looks over at Chest at, uh, at Chester Morton. So do you regret coming? <laughs> Chester Morton shrugs. I'm glaring at Ralzamon once the smoke is clearing. Desecrators of this world. You blasphemers against the gods and spirits of Yord. I have yet to begin my vengeance. This is the last straw. I will purge you with the power of Zyamara. Hey, mate, how many inspiration to just make the volcano explode right now? <laughs> just right as he's, like, talking about using the power of Zamara, and it just blows up from the TNT. Well, that depends, because you have uh, a bunch of stuff that you haven't cashed in. So if you want to give a dramatic speech about why he's bad, you can have it, or a flash. Like, if you want to use any of those cool cards that have been played, maybe it doesn't happen. If you do want it to happen, then you'll have to save those. You'll have to do the cool cards later. This is Matt looking at Janessa saying, hey, um, the power of the moon should punish Ralzavon in a very cool scene since you're basically his arch nemesis. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my turn. Uh, it's your turn. You can I, do that. I, I ended initiative because you just completely leveled the field. I have ended oh. <laughs> initiative. We can when we re-engage in combat, we will re-initiate initiative because you just dropped a, a small nuke on this place. Alrighty. Alright, so the smoke clears around you as the giant glowing form of Ralzamon looms over the volcano. So I'm just gonna stand there epic as he's talking. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna rush towards him. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and take your turn now. So move yourself. Just full speed ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this platform is a bit... um exploded above above in height well exploded but yeah it's, it's higher than yes it is you know most people run away from the explosion but pods just goes running right into it i'm gonna jump off this ledge you're jumping into the astral form of ralzaman over the boiling volcano <laughs> <gasps> A Santa can fly, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Okay. I'm yeah, I'm activating my dragon wings. Okay. Heck yeah. As oh. I'm jumping over this. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to give a speech to Ralsma. <laughs> that is completely allowed. Do you want to give the speech, or do you want to do you want to give the cliff's notes? You're half dead, Ralsmon. Already. I mean, I'm sorry. Should I have said Rousey Poo? <laughs> we killed all of your goods. They were very, very easy. You put me in a mind prison when I didn't even know what I was. And despite you getting me one time, You've been on the run ever since. So I don't know if this is the real you or just another image that's going to run away. But I'm going to be the one to take you down. All right. In the name of the moon, let's go even further <laughs> beyond. Unleash a can of whoop ass on this man. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. I say in a cast fist. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Wait, and what, what? What was the power of the name of the moon that was going beyond? We don't know. All right, make all these attacks with advantage. Okay, so that's the second one. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so the first one is a hit for six points of damage. And as you burst into glowing light, all your force damage will be doubled. Nice. As the wow. glowing wings surround you. So you deal eight points of damage with the first punch. The second strike against Ralzamon does not hit him. Boo. You can go ahead and use your bonus action if you'd like. Can I use my lucky dice on that one that didn't Absolutely. hit? Absolutely. Absolutely. So am I rolling with it? Just normal. You're, that, you're just going to roll one. a third roll normal. Yeah. And of the three, we'll take the best. Oh, gosh. That's <laughs> not any better. <laughs> All right. No joy. You want to go into your bonus action attacks? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Do I get advantage? Did you get sneak, These did all you get have sneak advantage. attack? I forget Slakura's with me. Yeah, yes. Slakura's with you. She has sneak attack for the So turn on sneak attack for this next attack. Just turn it on for this next one. And this is still made with advantage. Why am I doing so bad? Leave it on. Make one more roll. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that what 30, it is? 20 for 19 points of damage. But here's Make the thing. question. All these cool cards, do they go oh, away no. at the end of this encounter? Most of them do. Here's the thing, though. Uh, this, is to, this is to gain a power-up. So I'm going to allow you to take a second turn as if you'd used Action Surge. Ooh. For your Name of the Moon speech. Your force damage is doubled, and you can take a second turn now. Stop. Oh so you goodness. just fly towards him and just Dude, so, Santa's gonna hit him so hard his actual body's gonna feel this. <laughs> and you have inspiration from chat and from a stream loot card. So go Heck yeah. ballistic. Okay. And these on. are all still made with advantage. That's a hit. That's also a hit. You wanna use your bonus action to attack again? Mm-hmm. Go for it. Uh, that one is a miss. Do you want to use a focus point to hit him one more time? The... Yeah. Well, okay. I rolled four times. Ah, okay. I got two 24s in a row. Got it. All right. You, flying with these glowing wings, silver light surrounds you as you move faster than the eye can see and just punch this astral form of Ralzamon over and over and over. The enormous glowing blue shape recoils left and right. You see him start to shatter. And as you break it apart, illuminated by the light of the angry volcano, you see at its core, the silhouette, the translucent empty hole, the shape not of Ralzamon, but of Josiah Parsons, the man he once was on that fateful expedition when you became what you are. With your last punch, you shatter directly through that inner piece. And for a moment, you see something else. You see Ralzamon's image on a thousand crystal facets. You follow the trace of his psychic presence deep, deep within this mountain to a cave that is the center of the primal energy of this place. An enormous crystal beating heart that is the true repository of Ralzamon's psyche. His last sanctuary, which lies beneath this very mountain. Mate, I have a question. <laughs> Go ahead. We have a we have those cool cards. Mm -hmm. As part of Asena going Gosu and having her astral wings out and getting this mm -hmm. amazing bonus from facing down her rival, she feel I, I at least feel like she's in tune with herself. She's in tune with Gotharius, and she is not only an astral traveler but a spirit of nature. Is able mm -hmm. to call upon and affect the world around her in a natural way. Considering she's flying with this increased power over the volcano that has been hurt by outside forces, forces that Asena uh, all, doesn't always understand when she first came to Northport, but has been slowly learning about. And I'm wondering if John can use inspiring speech in order to let her push beyond impossible and try to quell the anger of the spirit of the shrine here at the volcano. I'm going to allow that. Let's yes. hear the speech. John stands up. Uh, Wait, that just wasn't taking the speech. A, John stands up, <laughs> taking a step over the uh, over the ridge, and just cups his hands 
Oh, actually, wait, no. I'm not going to shout out. Oh, yeah, I am going to shout out. And John uh, shouts out to Asena. You can do this. This every single moment that you've been fighting has come to this moment. razamon has been dogging you over the course of your entire adventure. Senapulker has hidden within your dreams. Lawrence brought you back after his party took your very life. You have now finally found out who you are and what your goal is. You are going to save this world and the very first step is quelling the anger of this mountain. You can do it, Asena! Okay. Asena, you can feel your connection to the natural world surging around you and as if in response, an enormous shape rises from the lava. It bubbles, it churns, and then the lava, the volcano, stands up. What? What do you mean? Uh, you oh. Hello. Yeah. Hello. A rivulet of lava streams from a cavity between the shoulders of this four-armed volcanic creature as it rises up to face you, Asena. Uh, uh, can anyone see what's happening? I can't really tell. <laughs> I think you need to quell the mountain. I can't punch a mountain. You can punch anything, the same. <laughs> Even the moon. <laughs> you are the punch of our group. Get in there. And show this thing who's boss. Oh my god. You are the wings of change. Asena, this enormous <laughs> figure <Yeah. laughs> turns, lava gushing down between it as the volcano continues to rage. What do you do? Uh... John I uses guess a I have to punch it. Before Asena goes in for her punch, John uses as a flashback card. Oh my god. When John had connected with Gaston in order to take the sniper rifle, he also was able to work with Gaston on modifying uh, that backpack, that, that berserker backpack that Asena has. He was able to take some of that concoction and place it into a dart. It's at that moment that John takes out the only dart that Gaston had gave him, and he levels the shot and he shoots a berserker dart into Asena's back, granting her <laughs> not only mystical, but scientific rage with which to battle this volcanic monster. Okay. He basically you turns her into the Hulk. Me? Yes. You get, you get shot with a freaking dart with rage juice in it as you face down <laughs> Ziamara, the volcano god. Roll for freaking initiative. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god. I got a natural 20, so, you know. Wow. Is this a Sena only, or are the rest of us here too? The rest of you can roll in as well. Okay, cool. Oh, not so bad. Except Ian Fletcher, because ah. he is flying down the mountain inside of a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, he's not. <laughs> no. He hasn't even landed yet. Dude, he's gonna go all the way around Yord and then hit the lava monster in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Asena, the lava keeper, goes first. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it lumbers towards you. And let's see. It's going to make four slam attacks against you. It just lifts up and attempts to beat you to death. Oh, God. 29. It hits you for 27 bludgeoning damage. Oh, my. Uh, while she's raging, she gets half damage on... That's uh, true. Stuff, right? That's true. You're in a rage. You take <laughs> half of this. So I hit you twice, so you take 27 damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then it makes a second Ooh, two attacks. Won't die. Oh. Oh. 
What did it have? Wow, they just, not, they just don't want to miss, do you they? take 10 more points of damage. And a 21. So you take uh, 10 and then another 12 on top of that. So 22. Mm-hmm. Was the first one 25? The first one so was two hits for 27. So you're just going to take 27 damage. So in total, okay, so you take like 42 or five, something. Six, seven minus two more. Dude, chat oh, wants funny. this. Yeah. Chat wants this so bad. They just gave Asena <laughs> a limit break. <laughs> the more damage you take, the more powerful you become. Okay. <laughs> I, I know exactly where this is. I know exactly where this is going. I know exactly oh, where this is going. my God. Asena, are you bloodied right now? Are you below half health? Um. Yes. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, yes. 46 doubled as 80. Yeah, 92. Yeah, you're, you're at half. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. It's time for your And <laughs> you could push beyond impossible. Yeah, whatever that this means. Is, this is, this is going to... Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. John, what do you got? I, I just want to I want to support Asena. I want to make sure that she can quell the beast. Um, Question. Got Chester buffs? got a healing... Oh, actually, no. We, we don't want to heal Asena right now. Never mind. We don't want to heal Asena. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. John gets his reaction back, finally. <laughs> That'll happen in six seconds, y'all. <laughs> It was a narrative six seconds. It wasn't actually. It was six a narrative seconds. six seconds. All right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, just, just give me a second. Uh, I was mm -hmm. gonna just shoot it, but I, th I feel like I need to. <gasps> is this thing? It's not. It's just bludgeoning. It's not. It's not fire damage. It's just bludgeoning damage. Correct. Right? Correct. Uh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Uh, oh, that's self. Crap. Is oh, it's just self. No. I want it to be just John, so. I, I so have you a just played a John Carmichael card. <laughs> what that do? You what? get another uh, spell boulder or a tattoo up to level Hell four. Oh yes! Here we go. Cool. This is what I needed. Thank you, chat. Much, much obliged. Much obliged. Okay, that goes up to fourth level. You said. Mm-hmm. Great, 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 great. Here we go. Uh, if the creature is target of a melee attack, the creature takes. Yep. Cool. John reaches up and he pulls the. Reprising bolt work, uh, spell tattoo. He flies up. John just rushes, activating the, uh, the. Oh gosh, what is it called? I can't speak right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Krontaka's, uh, uh, Warp spasm. Uh, thank you. Gosh, I can't even talk. And he just rushes right up, uh, to Asena and then jumps. He doesn't have the ability to fly, so oh John <laughs> just jumps up with double his movement speed. Did you want me to roll something, mate? Uh. No, just go for it. Cool. John rolls up and just grabs Asana's back. And he's just on a, like a monkey on Asana's back. Okay, don't let me fall, please. Just kill this thing. And he reaches down, puts a hand on her shoulder, and imbues her with the reprising bolt work. He's going to increase her armor class by one. And every time she takes an attack, she deals uh, force damage equal to his spell casting modifier, which is going to be... Uh, let me just double check that. That would be a plus nine. So it takes nine no, damage. Your spell, modifi uh, your spell modifier, dude. <laughs> Not your spell. Your, oh, is it your five. spell attack? Yeah, yeah. It's your ability it's, modifier. It, I thought that's what it said. Uh, da, 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 equal to your spell. Cast. Okay, so five. Fine. Suck okay. It. Every time it hurts you, it takes five force damage and your armor force class damage. is up by one. Okay. Asena, you've been pumped full of rage juice. You're going <laughs> even further beyond and you've got a limit break because you've been taking so much damage. You are unlocking a lot of your power. What do you want to do? <laughs> Um, oh gosh. Okay, so Asena is still flying. Is, wait, is John going to still be on my back? Yes, yes. John is just literally, <laughs> he's frothing at the mouth, raging himself as he used all of his uh, speed to just run up here and even get to you. And now he's just holding on for dear life while he's foaming at the mouth. Okay, I am going to start flying. And punching through this guy's waterfalls and his little crevices. Mm -hmm. So that way it's just like this punch going through him. Okay. And I'm exiting and then like coming back in <laughs> for more. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Mate, can I do one more cool thing for Asana? What If it's going to make Asana cool? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. John's going to use his, his bonus. He had a bonus action. John's going to use a bonus action and he's going to put the... Uh, the curse of Tiamat on the creature, but 
Um, I'd like to spend an inspiration in order to have the bonus damage go to Asena instead of John, to where he calls okay. upon the wrath of the Dragon Queen. And as he plants the spell tattoo onto Asena to give the reprising bolt work, he's going to imbue her temporarily with the blessing of Tiamat. Okay. So, so all of her attacks deal an extra four points of damage when she just hits. Just a flat plus four? It's a flat plus four. Okay. Asena, because you have your limit break and all of that, your sneak attack damage applies to all of these attacks. Oh my God. <gasps> What? Go and you have advantage in all of these. Go God. nuts. Okay, okay. Here we go. Where's I can't even see. One. <laughs> Two. <gasps> <laughs> okay, so I had a thing I was gonna do if you scored a crit here during your ultimate everybody's powering you up with everything but first one thing at a time so 25 damage from the first attack 12 plus 15 27 damage plus four one second attack uh go ahead and make your next oh and then the bonus crit power goes off so that's the astral uh light wraps around mm -hmm. him he can't dimension door and he is moving at half speed Go ahead and make your other two attacks, and then we'll get to the special crit effect. Okay. One miss and another hit for another 16 points of damage. Okay. As you're... You're going faster and faster. With all these power-ups on a critical hit, you are going to activate the Breath of Goltharius. Oh my gosh. The breath of Goltharius? Yes, Goltharius is breath weapon. Except instead of you breathing it, it's just surrounding you like a comet as you punch back and forth through this gigantic lava god. <clears throat> Roll 12d10. Okay. What? 86 force damage. <laughs> The Lava Keeper. I am so lucky. The Lava Keeper is going to roll what? a dexterity saving throw. Dude, for a moment, I thought that was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glowing. Let me let me do a, a description on this. Oh, my goodness. This is this is what this looks like. All right. A 90 foot line of crackling multicolored light. It disintegrates things in its path. So as you're passing through this, and you rolled better damage than I rolled, as you're passing through this, you're covered with astral light that is disintegrating chunks of the lava keeper. With that, now that that special can only activate once during this on a crit. But oh my the lava gosh. keeper is now bloodied. You just used the god of space and time dragon's breath weapon. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ooh. all the hell the way down here, uh, Chester Morton gets up and starts running towards the gigantic lava god. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that video you released for Squad the other day where there's just that the guy, guy running the, the tank with the knife? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what this is. Oh, Chester, you are. You know what, mate? <laughs> Chester jumps on top of Chester's shoulder and is just charging into battle. All right, so it's Team Chester. I'm here for Team it. Chester. I'm here for it. Uh, Chester spends her entire turn rushing up and like loading the shotgun because she's just been getting blown up this whole time. So she spends the entire turn running up, loading the shotgun, and then she takes complete cover behind this uh, shrine right here because she all she could do was move. Nice. It's now Lawrence Booker Green's turn. Lawrence Booker Green is going to hike up this right here. Uh, singed, his hair completely askew, his, uh, yeah, his, his like three-piece suit absolutely scorched and messed up, looking wild-eyed and bizarre. He is going to... Please, Lawrence, do something. Anything. He speaks a divine word. Ooh, that's good. Whoop. 
forcing the Lava Keeper to roll a Charisma saving throw. And because Asena just broke it down to half of its health, it makes this save at disadvantage. Ooh. Also, can we just appreciate what Slakura is seeing right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They were I, just chilling, like, back in Botan Village, and then just rolled up to help Asena, and, like, never seen anything like this before. So, Lawrence uses an incredibly powerful spell that can instantly send this thing back to the Plane of Fire, and it makes it save by one point. Oh, Deeply unlucky. Well, I'll have to try something next round. Uh, he is gonna take cover. <laughs> as best he can. It is now the Lava Keeper's turn. Asena, because you start your turn within five feet of it, you are subjected to its special effect, which is Lava Dribble. Roll Dexterity saving throw. All right. Lava Dribble's funny. <laughs> you take no damage. Nice. Oh, no, actually, the DC is 19, so you do take damage. But it's fire Fine, damage. So but you take, I'm, yeah. You take uh, one point of fire damage. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And it was it's a going indeed. to attempt to beat you to death. However, chat played a superior healing boost earlier. Please roll 8d4 plus 8 and heal this before it beats you to death. Oh wow. Oh, wow. 8d4 plus, plus 8? Plus 8, yep. Hey, man, I have another special little mini request. Go for it. Earlier, chat had given uh, Chester a healing boost just in case they were going to die. Mm -hmm. uh, can Chester, just since they've been moving up to battle, just take the energy it has within it and help Asena? Yeah, we can we can convey that. It's 2d4 plus 2. Perfect. Chester meows and 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 meow. For some reason, Asena, you understand that that means you got this, girl. <laughs> All right. So, Asena, you're, the way your limit break works is as long as you're below half. Uh, uh, that, do not, not, not roll 2d42, Matt. No. Uh, you know, I'm wearing I'm wearing a brace. It's kind of hard to type. Oh goodness! I did a plus, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. Okay, have seven more health. So, Asena, the way that this works is as long as you uh, as long as you're below half health, you get sneak attack on all your attacks. Wh okay. Whenever you're above half half health, you don't get those benefits. So you're still above. Uh, you're still below half health. Okay. R Right? No, no. No, you're at seven. Okay, like, yeah. It, it updated not. now. All right. So, but I'm pretty sure I can fix that. So give me a moment. Yeah, to we're fix gonna that. we're gonna see what happens here. I'm not even <laughs> using this thing's spells. It's just beating you to death because that's his most effective attack. Well, you know, like uh, skill begets skill, and she's just beating it to death. Mm -hmm. So you know, they're just the two of you are just punching the crap out of each other. That's a hit. You take eight damage, and it takes five it takes force five. damage. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna just total these at the end. It hits you with another, because it has four arms, and they're just punching you one after the other. That's another yeah. hit. Take 15 more, so that's 23 total. Because uh, you're taking half damage because of your rage. It hits you again for 15, so you've taken 30 total. And with its last attack, it hits you for 28, so you take 44 points of damage total. And it takes 20 points of force damage from the spell that John put on you. Uh, wait, so Asena, you were at 82 and you just took 44. So you should be at like 40. Oh. I think you were adding way too much damage. I was just doing it in order. I could have hit something wrong. I I'm pretty excited. sure, yeah. You, you did what I did. You're just I like, yeah, 42 points of damage. minus 40 something. 44. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's should, just 40. Yeah, you should be at 40 hit points, exactly. So your, your limit break better. is active again, and you're not dead. That's a great combination. John, yeah, yeah. it's your turn. You are hanging by a thread onto Asena above burning hot lava. Roll a constitution yeah, yeah, saving yeah, yeah. throw, please. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Um. Can I know what for? Uh, Doesn't matter. I don't care. Fire. Oh, I don't care about fire. Fire is key. You take, uh, from being above the volcano, you take 16 points of fire damage. I am resistant to so, fire damage. And you made your save, so you take four points of fire damage. Enjoy. Excellent. And you have Thank your turn. You. What would you like to do? 
I feel like Asana is so close to killing this thing, and I want Asana to do it because Asana needs to be the one to do it, considering <laughs> she's the primal, the primal like mm -hmm. goddess slayer right now. So here's what John is going to do. Right now, he needs to keep her up, and John doesn't super have a way to do that unless he resorts to memes. Uh, mate, I have a question. <laughs> John has a briefcase, a briefcase of carrying. And earlier in the campaign, uh, John was able to grab some Paragon Mint Tea. And I'm wondering if he has any more of that in there that he can use to give Asena a, a hit point buffer to try and keep her in the, to keep her in the, in the fight. Well, if you give her too many hit points, she's going to be above her limit break. Well, that's true. Okay, you know what? It still looks pretty strong. John's just going to shoot it. John's just going to be holding <laughs> on to Asena. And he's okay. just going to shoot this thing. All right. <laughs> Shoot her! So, suck on that. Uh, I got three bullets left, so... Hiya! Krantaka the first. Is this thing a fiend or a fae? No, it's an elemental. Yeah, I figured. Oh, it shouldn't have the psychic damage on it. Ignore that. Alright, so it just takes a 17? Just takes, if, it, if an 18 hits. If an 18 uh, hits. Does an 18 hit? It's pretty... Yes, an 18 hits. It has an AC big. of 18. And your double nice. tap is okay, at disadvantage. Cool. Yep, and I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot it. Oh wait a minute! I should have jumped on it with my freaking thing and You're, and done. This is your opportunity ah. to use the the slaying trident. That's a natural <laughs> I one. Know. That is a natural. Trontaka oh, no. does not jam, so you're fine. Okay. Actually, use your reaction to avoid dropping Krontaka into the lava. Oh. Oh. You automatically succeed, but it consumes your reaction. No, I dropped Kantaka. Into the lava? Mm-hmm. As John was, this is what happens. I'm gonna tell you what happens right here. Mm -hmm. John takes the shot and he barely is able to get a glancing blow on this thing. John's like, Ugh, come on, Asena, I need you to get a little bit closer. And as he's blading the shot, Asena reaches up to punch him and she literally knocks the gun out of John's hand with her elbow. And John looks, oh my God, no. And he jumps off of Asena, falling after the gun. <laughs> and as he falls, 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 John goes into a dive, grabs hold of the gun, and sheaves it just in the nick of time. And as he is turning in the air, about to fall down into the lava, you don't know what happens because John falls into lava. Should we be rolling for lava damage right now? If you think you should be rolling for lava damage right now, certainly. Let's, let's John just, has fire resistance. Okay, I'm just going to roll for damage from being submerged in lava, just in case you just got submerged in lava, okay? Another Believe in Me has just been played. <laughs> so there's another epic speech available. So if John just got submerged in lava, he takes 97 points of fire damage. Understandable. <laughs> I only have 82 hit points. Just going to put that out Asena, there. <laughs> John just fell into the lava. This creature is incredibly injured. You're in a rage. You've got all this power. What are you going to do? You you would only take half of that. True. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. Um what can I do? I I I mean I guess we're just swooping down there. You do have your planer slip. Oh, yeah. As uh, John is falling, John shouts out to Asena, finish hit! And he hits the, he just goes under the lava. And because actually when someone falls in the lava, they don't the actually lava? fall in, like, they don't actually fall in like water. Uh, they actually fall and hit the surface. Uh, and point, point of order, into it. point of order. This is a pulp universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was only going to say that, 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 that as the lava rolls and bubbles, he, as he looks like he falls, you can't, the camera can't quite pan correctly as this lava rush rolls over him. So wherever, wherever John is, he's just covered in lava. But as he's about to go under, he shouts out to you, finish it, Asena! Ugh. I can't just let him fall into the lava, but I think he's going to be fine. But still. Hmm. 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 I I mean I could I could planer slip us out.
What's the play, Asena? I'm trying to see if Matt is mad at me or not. Why John is mad, mad at, at me or not <laughs> for saving you. You can, um, if, you, if, if that's what you want to do. John said that you should finish it. If you want to <sighs> save John, you absolutely should do that. Follow your heart. Chat also it. played Flash Step. <laughs> oh. What is that? You gain an immediate reaction to move up to your speed. And it's, it, it says reaction. Yeah, you can spend your reaction to immediately move up to your speed for free. Oh, okay. So you could use Ooh, the flash step easy. to catch John. Like, <laughs> easy, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm diving in there. I mean, I'll wait till he gets Krantaka. And then I'll use my reaction to dive down there, like, so that way he lands on me. <laughs> okay, this close to the, the lava, roll a constitution saving throw. You also have fire resistance, so, you know. A 24, oh my god. So you take half of this and then half of that, so you take three points of fire damage. <laughs> you swoop down. John, are you there when she swoops down? No, no, why, why, why would I voluntarily take a bunch of fire damage? As you swoop down, you can see that John had activated his ghost step tattoo and he's currently uh, walking just out of the lava as a ghost. Just, oh, you're, ethe oh, you're ethereal. <laughs> he's, just, he's just ethereal. John fell into the lava, activated his ghost step tattoo. And as you rush down there, he's just kind of. Oh, I told you to finish it! And he's like kind of half there, half not, as he's crawling out of the lava and just crawling up the side of the <laughs> of the mountain. All right, well, let's give the well, rest of- Well, at least you would know that I would save you if you were gonna die. I am so appreciative, now kill that thing. <laughs> we're gonna give the rest of the flash step momentum to John so that he can like cartoon scurry in ghost mode. <laughs> to safety, go ahead and move yourself to safety. Nice. And Asena, it's all you, go for it. You're below half health, so you get sneak attack on all your hits, and you have advantage on all your attacks. All right. We're going to swoop back up there. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> She's mildly annoyed that she... <laughs> like, admit not that she did it, that, like, John knows... That she would have. <laughs> she didn't use that to rage. Uh -huh. Yes, use the hatred. Use that hate. Bring it to bear against your enemies. Kill him. He's gonna like she knows that John's just gonna give him shit later on. Like, <laughs> see you. You do care about me, don't you, Asena? <laughs> okay. Um. We are going to go. We're just going to do it. All right. There's one. I had two. I have the power of God and anime on my side. And three. And four. <clears throat> okay. The floor is yours, Asanda. What happens to this oh thing? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. Um... She's just gonna, it's this pretty similar to the one before mm -hmm. where she's just zipping <laughs> back and forth. I mean, she like looks like a flying dragon mm -hmm. with, with all the, the magic astral wings, her. yeah, like all around her, but it's like two times as fast. Um, and then she's going to land right here and as she lands the monster elemental looks fine and then all of a sudden starts sliding into <laughs> pieces Splash. and falling down <laughs> oh i love it i love it and then all the heels that were played kick in at the exact same time so, surely by the power of being cool, you heal 44 plus 4. Thank you, chat. Me? Yeah. 44. Oh, God, that's an H. <laughs> plus what? Plus 4. Plus 4. There are a lot of 4s. Okay, you heal 17 points. And Slakura can use its uh, healing 
healing jelly. Healing touch. So you heal yeah. 3d8. Now, can I, can I finish the last part of my combo now that Asana is safe? Yeah, go for it. So now that she's landing, uh, John is coming out of the lava because his ghost tap tattoo, while it makes him incorporeal, and he can move through solid objects as if it was, you know, regular and all that, um, it does not give him any fire resistance. It only gives him resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. And so John's plan was to make sure that Asana would survive the next attack. Uh, was going to be that he was going to take all that fire damage. So how much was that, mate? 97. That was 97 <clears throat> points of fire damage. But so divide into two because uh, you have fire resistance, right? Well, so here, so here's the thing. John was going to activate his once per day absorbing tattoo, giving an immunity to fire damage. Whatever damage he prevented, he's able to heal. <laughs> I was gonna spend an inspiration to instead heal Asena for 97 points of damage. <laughs> that was that was John was that was John's plan was to Take a bunch you, of fire you walk damage. Out and of then... the fire, you turn back into a person made of meat instead of a ghost. This tattoo is glowing incredibly bright. You give her a pat on the shoulder. Good job. And you're both healed to full. <laughs> yeah. That's the most amazing combo. And actually, John, <laughs> John gets out of the fire and he gives a he gives Santa a hug. He wraps her in a hug. I knew you cared about me! <laughs> And as he pulls away, he looks her in the eye and just smiles. Asena, you did it. You're amazing. Great job. Thanks. I'm so proud of you. And he kind of gives her a little, <laughs> little fake punch on the on the side of her cheek. You take five I mean... points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, that's right. Dang. Be careful. John makes a saving throw. He fails and starts attacking his saint. <laughs> oh. I mean, of course I was going to punch the volcano. But only after you made sure I was okay. I did I both. even told you not to. I, but I saved you and killed him. So it, it wouldn't have mattered. Mattered to me. Hey, I'm pretty strong, aren't I? You're pretty freaking amazing. Hey, I don't know what the heck that was, but we were channeling some kind of amazing, like, synchronization. What the heck happened back there? That was amazing. Well. I think we are channeling the spirits of Yord. Yord itself is coming to our aid to stop Atropus. Like I said before, this is the first step. I mean, that would make sense after what I found out in the cave. Oh, that's right. What did you find out in that cave, by the way? Oh, you know, nothing big. Just the fact that I'm the savior of Yord. I already knew that. <laughs> hey, speaking uh, of which, while you're still channeling that mojo, did you want to talk to the spirit of the volcano and get it to, you know, kind of slow its roll? Well, Literally. here's the thing. You just punched the crap out of the spirit of the volcano. So the spirit of the volcano is now taking a nap. The volcanic eruption subsides. There's still a whole bunch of extra lava flowing down the sides because you detonated a quarter ton of, of dynamite over it. But yeah. by defeating the lava keeper and by defeating the cult of Ralzamon, you have ended the volcanic crisis. There is still one problem to deal with while you're here, though. In order for our adventure to end, Ralzamon must die. And we'll find out more about that <laughs> next time on Coriander Society Adventures. Before we leave, folks, a couple of things. First off, next week, I will be running a community game for Heroes of Northport. If you're one of our supporters and you're interested in getting in on that, join the Discord. Uh, we run community games every so often. And second, in August... Starting the August 16th, we'll be doing a short crossover event with D20 Deathmatch. Uh, I'll go ahead and make that official announcement. It's going to be like a three to four crossover event with D20 Deathmatch after our next episode in Northport. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to be running around in their world. We're going to have a guest star. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for your support for making this fight absolutely outrageous. And we'll see you next time.